Hello, today we're doing a total drama tier list of all, of all the generations, but we're not going to do the fan made ones because I, <laughs> I haven't seen a lot of them. So let's begin. First up, Chris. Hmm. Okay, I like Chris. He's okay. I'm going to give him a B tier actually. But like. I think he takes up too much of the show, I guess. I know that sounds really stupid, but... Like, I think the show should be more about the contestants than the hosts. But him in action, he's great in action. I love him in action. Like, with... He actually had a plot line. It was actually interesting. So, yeah, B tier for Chris. Oh, Chef. I think it was from the original seasons. From seasons 1 to 5. No, 1 to 6, I mean. I like Chef. He's had some really funny moments. I love him in action, but I also love him in uh, Ireland with the boot camp. I'm going to give Chef an A tier. Okay, Chef nowadays. He's okay. He didn't do much, but he's fine. Don's an easy S tier. He's such a good host. I just like his normality. He feels like the best host we've ever had. He's amazing. I love Don. He's just so good at his job. I lo he just feels simple to me. And I love it. He's amazing. So yeah. First contest, first person to go in S tier. Now we get on to the contestants. First up, Alejandro. Don't call my name. Don't call my name. Alejandro. I love Alejandro. He's so awesome. He was the, I think he was the best of World Tour. No, that was that goes to other contestants, but he was up there. I like his strategy. He was just awesome. Beth is okay, I guess. Just she's not very memorable. I haven't seen Total Drama in a long time. I haven't watched it since like mid 2022. So, my memory on it is quite uh, not the best. But I enjoy Beth. She's alright. I really dislike Blaine, like, like, she's just annoying to me. She's not as bad as Jeff in action, but just annoying to me. Bridget, I love her. She's amazing. Just, she's just cool to me. I like, I like her personality. Cody, the Codester, the Codemeister, A tier. I enjoyed him in World Tour, but in Ireland, just... Uh, he's cool. He's a B tier for me. Courtney, Courtney, she's my pal. She loves her PDA, she's an organised gal. Yeah, I like her. She's just quite the interesting character. Oh, DJ is such a cute character. I like him in Ireland, I like him in action, I like him in World Tour. He's just a cute character. Definitely A tier. I love him in... He made uh, new kids on the block for me. He's just amazing. A tier. Duncan, you are quite annoying in World Tour, actually. He's okay. He offered a lot to the show, but I just don't think he's the greatest character. Eva... Oh. She was angry, but she did have some funny moments. Absolutely. She had some funny moments. But in terms of memorability, she's not the most memorable. non fail Ezekiel is okay. Just... Mm. This is when the show started to become less normal. Just... Feral Zeke is okay. One of the best characters to talk about. Jeff. Um... Beat it, definitely. I'm not a big fan of him in World Tour or action, especially action. He was so annoying that season. But I, him in Ireland, the Douglas Rays, he's the GOAT. A solid beat here. And there we get to Gwen. Um, I like Gwen, okay, a lot. But action, she was annoying. No, she was involved in one of the most annoying plot lines of the entire show. I guess A tier, maybe? I might change it. Harold was awesome in World Tour. 
live action. He was just great. I don't really know where to put Harold. I guess near the top. Maybe an A tier. I'll stick with that for now. Heather is awesome. Just, she's iconic, okay? I really like her in Ireland. I like her in World Tour. Action's great for her. Just overall good. She's alright. Izzy is absolutely insane and I love it. She's just good. I love her in action, definitely. Just, she's one of the characters I actually remember being that good. Action's amazing for her. I, I love her in Masters of Disaster. Justin, this pretty boy. Love him. I love him in Ireland, action, world tour. Just, he's amazing, that pretty boy. Katie's okay, but she was annoying and sucky outdoors. I enjoy Lashana. Her rival with Heather is great. Just overall good. I love Lindsay. She's awesome. Just, she's overall just an enjoyable character. C tier, no. We're, she's going all the way. Her winning challenges in action, just amazing. S plus tier for her. Same with you too, Noah. You're great. I love his sarcastic comments. I love him in Redonkulous Race. He made the Redonkulous Race for me. S plus tier. I enjoy Owen, especially him in Redonkulous Race. Just amazing character. He's just so iconic. I like Sierra, but I don't really remember her at all. I need to watch Till Drama again. Not anytime soon, though. Action drone Trent for me. He was just so annoying in action. Just... But he was alright in Ireland. Actually, C tier's too harsh. B tier for him. He's good. And why didn't Lindsay want to take Tyler in World Tour at the start? Because he's already a goat. Tyler's S plus tier. Hilarious guy. We are now on Generation 2. She's okay, just don't remember her much. I haven't seen Revenge of the Island since 2021 now. I think Beverly's so clever. That just makes him amazing for me. I like his skills. He's just one of the best contestants. Brick's okay, but unmemorable, really. Same with Cameron. I love Dakota's plotline. She's cool. I guess A tier. You know Dakota's always is the same person as Dakota, right? I really like Dawn. Like, she's so mysterious and cool and weird. I love her. Joe is unmemorable. Same with Lightning. I'm going to put all of Mike's and his personalities in B tier, except Mal. He's in C tier. I like Mike, just he's not the most cool, like, interesting character. But I like how he... He was unique. Sam was alright. I like him in, the, in episode 4 and 5 of Revenge of the Island. Scott's one of the most interesting villains. Like, I love his strategy. It's really awesome. And unique. That's what I want in a villain. A unique villain. Even my great, 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 great auntie. Hated Stacey. She's not great, 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 great. Zoe's just normal. I... Don't have much to say on her. She's okay. I wish we got to see more of Commando Zoe. Amy's just annoying. Not much to say. Beardo's definitely unique. But this is when the show kind of jumped the shark with. In terms of characters not having, uh, not being the average teen. Dave's fine, I guess. Same with Ella. Leonard's, I don't really remember him, but I, I know all these characters, but I don't remember them much. Just, he's okay. Of all the contestants, Max is one of my favourites and one of the most memorable for me. Like, he was just hilarious. Absolutely comedic gold. He's just so unique and I love him. He wants to take over the world. Wahaha. Rodney's fine, I guess. 
Sammy is definitely S plus. Just she's amazing. I like she's just so sweet and nice, and is involved in one of the best plot lines. I love Jasmine. She's awesome. Just she, I love her relationship with Sean. It's just amazing. Scarlet's okay, but unmemorable. I really like Sean. Just he's an interesting character to me. And I love his relationship with Jasmine, as previously said. Sky's my favourite from Generation 2 and 3. Just, and 5. She's just amazing. She's so cool. And I really like her plot. Both Sugar and Topher are kind of unmemorable. I enjoy Brody's relationship with MacArthur. And I've said. I really enjoy Carrie's plotline. She's just interesting to me. She's sweet, innocent, and just overall a great character. Shet's pretty good. I enjoy Devin, but he just doesn't stick out to me. But Crimson and Ennui, they are hilarious. Some of the funniest characters of the entire show. Dwayne is just, is just an interesting character. He's a lovely dad. And his plotline is amazing. Elodie's okay, I guess. I also enjoy Emma a lot. Like, she's great. Her plot with Noah is amazing. It's one of the best parts of the season. I enjoy her in I Love Redon Conroll. She's just amazing. Jerry's really funny. So's Jocks. Jay's really unmemorable. Jen is pretty cool. <laughs> Don't remember her much. But Jose. Oh, she's great. I love her. She's an interesting villain. I really love her ego. Just amazing. Junie is a pretty cool character to me. Just I like his uh, relation to the to his dad. Just I like his plotline. The problem with Kelly is she's just unmemorable. Kitty is just uh, full of joy. She's just so happy and amazing. I love her so much. Like one of the best characters of the entire show. Laurie is just unmemorable, really. Lorenzo's fine, I guess. Now, MacArthur is hilarious. She's just great. I I loved every second of her on screen. Goes into S plus tier, for sure. Mary's fine. Mickey's okay. Miles fine. It, it, Miles fine. Miles is fine too. Pete's is funny, just as not as funny as Jerry. Rock is rocking, he's awesome, just awesome. Ryan is cool too. I definitely enjoy Sanders, but not as much as MacArthur. Spud is cool. I enjoy Stephanie, like, <laughs> she's quite funny, just, she's enjoyable. Tammy's okay, I guess. Taylor and Tom's fine. Okay, let's get on to the new contestants. The main problem with the new contestants is they feel like repeats. And Axel is a big example of that. Definitely. She just feels like Sean again. And definitely Eva. Just, she's not as bad as Eva. But just she's okay, I guess. Bowie is absolutely one of the worst villains. It's just that... His villainy disappears for half of the season. But what saves him is his relationship with Raj. And when he is a villain, he's generic. Caleb is the worst total drama contestant, in my opinion. For many reasons. He feels like a repeat from, of Justin. He's unmemorable, had nothing to do. Just, I don't like him at all. The only thing that saves him from being F is his elimination. Which is passable. Chase is very annoying. Just. He. He's definitely kind. Not generic. Just. He's fine. Damien is boring. Okay. I haven't been speaking too much. Too lightly on the contestants. Of the new season so far. But Emma's cool. She's actually really good. I like her friendship with Bowie. I like. Her relationship with Chase is funny. Just, she's a great character. 
Finally, we get on to Julia. Oh, my days. I don't like her at all. This is because of one reason. She's a generic villain. She just feels like Blainley and Heather. Just, she's a repeat. And I don't like her. I, but what saves her is her in the first few episodes. She was pretty cool in those. MK is Miss Potential. Like, she could have been one of the best villains. Like, she had something unique about her. She was, that was interesting. But no, they eliminated her and made Julia the villain. She's an A-tier. Millie's cool. She had something unique about her. She's cool. Just not much to say. Emma can also go in A-tier. Wait, there's two Emmas now. <laughs> Crazy. Michelle's okay, I guess. Like, I like her introduction. She's just cool. Priya is fine. But she does feel like a repeat of Sky. Just, but not as good. She's just enjoyable to me. I, I like her friendship. And she did have something unique about her. And I like that. Okay, I love Raj's relationship with with Bowie. She's just awesome. But not as awesome as Wayne. Straight into A tier. Okay, I knew I would love Ripper as soon as he ripped his shirt off. <laughs> what was that all about? He was just cool. I, he just feels like one of the great, the good contestants. He does feel a, little, a bit like Owen, but... And not as good as Owen, but he's good. Lauren is not like no one we've had before. And she is cool for that. I like her. She's terrifying. But she's interesting. Wayne is the only Gen 5 S tier. Like, he is awesome. I love how supportive of he, he is. Just, it's cute. He is. Z is chill. Just, he's cool. So, that's my list. Hope you enjoyed it. So, bye.